Okay, uh, Ford motor here, four liter EFI fuel injection. Uh, I'll give you all the specs that I have on it uh, in the ad itself. Uh, we have so many motors up here, it gets very confusing to try to remember these as I'm doing videos. So uh, good news is we have everything uh, stock numbered into our computer system, which works really well for finding out exactly what it came out of, what miles it had and whatnot. These all did run and drive. Um, I believe it's an Explorer, but I'll double check on that. And uh, it's a uh, six cylinder, let's see. I, the main thing I want to show you is just like a visual of this thing. That's why I like to do videos. I own a company called Jeeps Unlimited. Obviously, this is not a Jeep motor. This was left over from when they had uh, American 4x4 uh, truck and American 4x4 and truck out here, uh, which went away last January. It's now January 2015. Uh, so this motor's been sitting here for about a year, um, and they were asking pretty pennies on most of this stuff. For me, it's just in my way. So I'm going to make somebody a good deal on it. If you call us directly, we waive the core fee. It saves us the eBay fee, so we save you the core and the hassle of returning something. Uh, if you want to go through eBay, that's fine. You can pay the core. It's 150 bucks. Uh, you get it back if you do return your core um, and whatnot. So again, it is a running and driving motor. Um, we do offer warranties on everything we sell, so it's that's not anything like that. What you see in this is what you get, including that harness that you see there. Normally, we strip all that stuff off. But again, not a Jeep motor, so I'm not going to take the time and do it. Uh, it does come on this pal pallet here. We do ship nationwide. It's by far cheaper to ship it to a business, a loading dock, a forklift, something like that. If it goes into a residential area and you have to get a lift gate, which is not a big deal, it is kind of an expensive thing because they charge us a buck twenty, which we do. We pass on to you um, and whatnot. So I think that takes care of the video on this particular motor. We've, I do have several four liters uh, available right now off these uh, Ford Explorers or Rangers or whatever the heck they came out of, which again, I'll tell you. Other than that, I have three acres outside of this garage doors of nothing but Jeep parts from the 1940s all the way up to current years and every model in between. I have every transmission you can probably possibly imagine. And yes, I probably have uh, transmissions out of Explorers and everything else, but they're in containers right now buried. So all right now I'm focusing on getting my Jeep stuff up anything big like motors and stuff like that um, getting them out of our way selling them moving them down the road whatnot we do have some cool swaps uh, left here as well and uh, as far as like some Vortec motors LS LT1 L, LS1 motors I believe is what they are um, they have a weird uh, Dodge V10 down there uh, power stroke back in the corner and my new racking is here so we're just setting everything up right now um, and whatnot on that. So that's where this motor will go. It will stay inside until it is sold, of which time we will put it loaded up on one of our freight uh, trucks so we go through and ship it to you. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can call us. Our number is 303-666-9020. Any one of my guys can help you out uh, with your, uh, with probably whatever you're looking for. We definitely know our Jeeps better than we do our Fords or Chevys or Dodges, but Nonetheless, we do try to keep ourselves fairly uh, versatile when it comes to knowledge and whatnot. So, 303-666-9020, uh, and as of right now, January 15th, you cannot text that number, but here in a few weeks, hopefully you can text it. We're working on that as, as we speak. Sometimes people prefer that option. So, And again, what you see is exactly what you get. This motor is exceptionally clean. Uh, we had this one. I'll, and I, I don't want to state miles because my miles I'm kind of goofed up on, but we did have a couple Ford Explorer motors that were under 120, and we even had one that was just over 100. Um, but I don't, uh, until, I, until I look at the, up this stock number, I won't know exactly, but most of these are very low miles uh, and whatnot. So, again, my name is Jeremy, and I, take, I appreciate you taking the time and watching this video.